Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. One of the things that I hear discussed on the air a lot on HF is somebody asking someone else, does it sound like my mic gain is too high? Or does my processing sound like it's too high? Processing on the transceiver. The best way to figure that out is not to ask someone else, but to look at the meters that are on your transceiver. That's why they are there. There's one that may be marked processor or compressor that will, will tell you how much processing is being used, is being done in the transceiver. Micane, it's set with the ALC meter. If it's too high, the ALC meter will go beyond that first uh, line. You want it, it's, there are no numbers associated with that line. It's just a line. When it goes past the end of that line, then you're into distortion. To prove that point in this recording that I'm going to play, I kept the ALC meter right about three quarters scale, but I ran up the compression so that it went from 5 to 10 to 15 dB. And you can tell by the sound of it that at 15 dB, it's pretty harsh. Uh, at 10 dB, it's still a lot, but it might be acceptable over a, a very long distance, like a contact with a DX station in maybe Europe or Africa. The first position that I demonstrate is 5 dB of compression. Now, the ALC meter has no numbers associated with it. The compressor or compression or processing meter does, and usually it's marked 5, 10, 15, 20. It's kind of a balancing act. You have to turn the processing level and you have to turn the mic gain. You may have to go back and forth, back and forth to get it right. So again, in the recording that you're going to hear now, I kept the processing or the ALC meter well within its limits uh, by adjusting the mic gain, but I turned up the processing. So I'm going to play it without any processing and then at 5, 10, and 15. And I'll go back and forth so you can hear the difference. Okay, so here goes that recording. Good evening. This is Jim, W6LG in Rockland, California. This is the FTDX101D. The receiver is an ICOM 70, uh, 7610. So this is no compression. Equalizer is off. Now I'm going to turn both of them on and I'm going to run about 5 dB of compression. But this is no compression uh, microphone straight into the transceiver. Okay, I'm going to turn on the processor. This is uh, the processor on and the equalizer on, and I'm touching occasionally 5 dB of compression. So this is Jim W6LG in Rockland, California, transmitting on the ASU FTDX101D. Now, whether or not I transmit it with this transceiver or another one, uh, the results will be roughly the same. So this is with the processor on. And again, I'm peaking occasionally 5 dB, most of the time around 3 dB. Now, I'm going to turn the processor off. Okay, uh, processor is off. This is Jim, W6LG, and I'm going to turn the processor back on. Processor back on. The equalizer comes on at the same time. Now, let's do 10 dB of compression. This is 10 dB of compression, peaking 10, occasionally maybe 11, uh, averaging probably above 5. So this is Jim. W6LG in Rockland, California. Okay, I'm going to turn the processor and the equalizer off. Okay, this is straight in. This is uh, no compression, zero compression. So now I'm going to turn the processor back on. Processor and equalizer are back on, peaking 10 dB. Now let's turn it up to 15 dB. Uh, this is 15 dB. W6LG in Rockland, California. Uh, turn the processor off. Processor is off. W6LG in Rockland, California, testing. One, two, three, four, five. Processor back on, and equalizer comes back on at the same time. So this is with the processor on and 15 dB of compression. This is with the processor off, and the equalizer is also off. Now I'm going to turn the processor back on, and I'm going to peak around uh, 5 dB of compression. This is with the processor on and the equalizer on. Okay, processor is off. One, two, three, four. processor is off. Uh, equalizer is also off. So let's turn the processor back on. 
Okay, processor and equalizer are back on. Let's go to 10 dB. This would be a, uh, 10 dB of processing uh, DX mode, if you will, and running uh, with the equalizer on. Let me turn that off. Okay, the equalizer and the compressor are off. This is just straight into the transceiver with a dynamic microphone from Amazon. All right, that's my test. Uh, this is Jim, W6LG in Rockland, California. And I'm touching occasionally 5 dB of compression. So this is Jim, W6LG in Rockland, California. My preference is for about 5 dB of compression. If I'm trying to reach a really far station and conditions aren't good, I might go to 10 dB of compression. But I never go to 15, never go to 20. Uh, even though some instruction books like the um, ICOM instruction book say that you can go to 20, it really is pretty strong processing. So play the recording a couple times, see what you think you like the best. No processing is, um, the signal is generally weaker and um, not so easily understood. The uh, equalizer that I had on emphasized highs you may want to emphasize more mid-range lows is generally not a good idea. Thanks for watching. I'm Jim, W6LG in Rockland, California. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. If um, you want to uh, help support the channel, there is a Patreon account listed. 73. See you later.